Hey guys, what's up? Um, we are here on a late night. What do we got? 9.32 p.m. I'm here with Thane from uh, Saber Tactical and Sideshot. And the reason he's here, well, there's usually only one reason he's here. Because <laughs> we're, we're going to go shoot, shoot stuff. Um, anyway, so I wanted, I, I, I've told you guys I wanted to start doing some videos like this where we really break it down, what we're doing, why we do it, how we do it. And so you're seeing us here on a late night because we're setting up two guns that um, haven't been set up yet. So we're going to start from scratch and set these guns up. And when I say set these guns up, I mean we mounted the scopes. I've shot, uh, shot them over the chronograph. We've zeroed them here at 35 yards. And now we are going to set up our turrets with um, these little marking stickers. Like you've seen, we're, we're cool now, like Matt Dever you know, and the Air Hunters guys. What up, fellas? We're just as cool now. So we have them. Um, these are a turret sticker. So they they have a sticker and they, they, they come to a fine point. I don't know if you can see that really, because I'm still learning on this here camera. Oh, that worked. Okay, so it gives you a really nice uh, point um, that puts on so you can be accurate with your hashes. Now, let's translate what I just jumbled through. So why why do we do this with a turret, and what are we what are we even talking about when we say dials? Because I want to talk to everybody, not just the people who already know about this stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm setting these stickers at the yardages that I want to dial for my scope. So when I when you hear people say dialing and you're not quite sure what they're talking about, what this means is we're we're using the external turrets on a scope. And we're actually going to adjust the scope turret, which controls your elevation on the, on the scope. And we, are, we have a sp specific ballistic chart where we're gonna, we're gonna actually chart out on our turret, right? Physically on the turret. So we know when I start dialing, so for instance, I range, I range a target at, well, let's just throw a number out there. It's 67 yards. I can. I can already know when I turn this tape, it's already got the yardage stickers. They're in five yard increments, so 67 yards is a bad example, but yes. cut, cut. Okay, so the different apps you can use, uh, you've got your Streelock Pro, um, there's Shooter, that's another popular one. I like this one for pellets, it's the Hawk Chair Gun app. Um, really handy app right on your phone, and it's got really specific data for air guns because You've actually got projectiles. It's got a database of pellets in here already. So it already knows all the dimensions, the weights, the, the uh, ballistic coefficients of that pellet. Um, so it does a lot of the work for you. So once you enter all of your stuff in, so for instance, this says, and I don't know if you can really see that, but what it has, you have your pellet weight, your ballistic coefficient, your muzzle velocity, your, your sight height, meaning what's center of scope, uh, above center of bore so you're going to need to use a caliper or, or fine ruler or something to check that um, or you can do math which if you're into that and then it's got your you can add wind speeds into it so if you want to figure for wind drift you can also dial your windage turret to compensate for wind now the whole reason people dial with turrets um, versus just hold over like you see uh, like you see ted from ted's holdover <laughs> Crap! You knew that was gonna happen. He's become the master of holdovers. That's why he is Ted's holdover. Um, that means you hold a certain distance, you know, in your in your reticle over the target for depending on the distance. Where dialing your scope, what you're doing is you're adjusting the turret so that you still hold exactly on your crosshairs and on the target where you want to shoot. So there's no, you're not guessing. Your, your height, you're just holding right on target. So it's a really um, accurate way to shoot. I mean, that's why you see you know, your, your extreme marksmen, uh, your snipers, whatever, people are sh you know, shooting competition. They're all gonna be using a turret, just, um, or you, you'll see people with custom reticles in, in the long range firearms world. A lot of that's super accurate too. But that's a whole nother discussion. So we're gonna stick to ours. Um, turrets, so we're gonna dial. 
So now you know what we're talking about when we say dial a turret. So in this app, it gives you a ballistic calculator. So on an iPhone, if you're cool, you tip from the top to the right. Um, this gives you all of your data. So you've got it in range, you've got your yardage, you've got your point of impact in inches, point of impact in clicks, point of impact in MOA, mills, um, and then you have also your drift. So if you want to enter in wind, so if you have a wind checker, or if you're awesome like, say, Jim Smith, who's a Spartan tackle, he'll just tell you what the wind is by looking at the grass or the bushes. Um, if you're that good, you can do that too. But you can put that input in and dial for windage um, as well. So I don't dial for windage, just FYI. I, you can, um, but that's where I actually like to, I'll kind of just hold over in the reticle for wind, but I like to use turrets for my elevation, just quicker. Um, so depending on what your scope is set up and if your turrets are MOA, you'd obviously use a point of impact in MOA to chart that. If it's in mills, use mills, um, so forth. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put in, I'm going to put these stickers on, on my turret exactly what it tells me on this chart. And we're going to test it tomorrow for you. And uh, we're going to see how accurate this is with that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to shoot and check and see if it's close. I want to see how close it is without what we call truing up the dope. So if truing up the dope means you go out, you shoot it, you have your chart. And if something's just a little bit off, you'll, you'll know because your point of impact is off just slightly and you can adjust say your velocity or scope height or ballistic coefficient. There's a lot of ways that will change that, uh, your point of impact versus what you have dialed. So anyhow, but the experiment tomorrow is to try this without truing up our dope chart. We're just going to go with what the data we have. And honestly, my experience has been phenomenal with, with chair gun. Usually if I zero and every, if all your data that you entered for that gun is right, the app is extremely accurate. So super fun way. And it's, I mean, it's the best way to shoot long range in my opinion. Thane, what do you? There's no question. We've yeah. used holdover from the beginning yeah. from watching Ted and then we've yeah. dialed and it's so much more accurate. Yeah. So it's, uh, it just takes out guesswork. There's no guessing where you should hold and, um, it just makes you, makes you more accurate to uh, shoot, especially at long ranges. So, um, so when some of you see, maybe you've seen videos of ours where, you know, like for instance, there's a 265 yard ground squirrel shot with slugs and people are going, I want a gun that shoots just like Justin's because he got the hold right on it at 265 yards and it hit it. Well, that's because I dialed in the scope. It, it's not a laser beam. It's, it's, it's a laser beam in, compared to some air guns, but it's not a real laser beam. So I had to dial for turrets. That's why I'm holding dead on, just to clarify. Um, or if sometimes you'll see me holding under, even though it's a different distance. That's because my dope chart was off or my range wasn't quite the same. And so I still hold under, hold over, you know, on a follow-up shot. So that's why you see some of that stuff in videos. Um, I hope that helps. Um, Thane, what, do, what am I missing here? Um, pretty much nothing. Um, you'll see a lot of guys change into dialing their scopes. Uh, it's, just, it's just more accurate, just hold your yeah. wind. Yeah, so yeah, especially uh, competition, if you, if you know your distances you're gonna be competing at, definitely set up your, set up your scope with turret. If you have an external turret, if you don't, it, it's not gonna help you much. You need to have an external uh, turret knob versus you know something you have to adjust with a screwdriver or whatever right basically you gotta have a place to put that sticker um anyhow so we're gonna get all these set up we're gonna set up the uh r5m uh ed gun in 25 caliber i'm gonna shoot uh 25 grain uh, jsb kings out of that particular gun it's shooting them at about 925 very consistently so i'm gonna set up my chart for that and then I'm going to set up this little guy. Isn't she cute? Look at that. Anyway, that, my friends, is the, uh, the compact version of the 25 caliber 
Um, Taipan veteran. Taipan veteran. One cool thing about this, and I'll explain to you guys all too what this means. Uh, Taipan in particular, they have a 20 MOA uh, built-in uh, rail, which is awesome. So let me explain why. Because if you already have 20 MOA built into the rail, it, it takes up less space on your turret because you only have so far where you're, unless you have an adjustable mount, uh, where you can dial this thing where, before your turret's topped out. So that gives you 20 minutes of angle extra. 20 minutes of angle is 20 inches at 100 yards. So it's a lot. It gives you a lot more uh, range on a turret, especially if you don't have an adjustable mount where you can zero out a mount instead. So I um, hope that makes sense. But that's an awesome, awesome feature about the Taipan. Uh, the only other one that I know that has that is the uh, the raw um, LRTs. They have a built-in MOA uh, pick rail on the top of that. That's such a sick feature. I don't know why every air gun company doesn't do a built-in MOA rail. So uh, anyway, that's enough of that. We'll get these all set up. I, I hope all you guys learn a lot from this and um, and kind of show you how what we do to pregame to go shoot stuff and and uh, be able to hit them humanely at, at, at different distances that's how we're going to do this so we're going to show you how to do that and um, we're excited to teach you this stuff so because it's going to make air gun shooting so much fun uh, and you're going to be a lot more successful uh, shooting at different distances so hopefully this helps you out check it out so here we are out here with the same gun we had last night late night and you show we uh, showed you guys us setting this up um, so, I know it looks like a big old uh, monstrosity of things, gadgets on here, and it is, but <clears throat> this is to help you get to see it better. So, <clears throat> we've got the, the uh, side shot custom GoPro um, hooked up so that we can capture all the shots. This guy is just an aid for me so that I can get the perfect crystal clear shot. So. This actually projects as well, a big projection, so I can see if I'm perfectly focused and stuff. Um, it's 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 not a must, it's just if we're out here making video for you, we might as well make sure it's perfect. So that's what that's for. So if you look, you can see same turret I set up last night. I haven't shot a shot out here yet, but, uh, and it's, can you hear that echo? We are in the middle of nowhere and I'm getting an echo. It's really weird. Anyway, back to the story. So we're going to take out uh, the old R5M. We're going to test out those turrets that we showed you how we set up. We're going to test those today and see how accurate that uh, ballistics program is. And hopefully get it all on crystal clear video for you. So um, let's get to it. <laughs>
so we uh, we're out here. We just we just started shooting the uh, little Taipan 22, and um, we're walking out. Thane just shot a prairie dog with it at uh, how far? 63 yards. 63 yards. Um, we dialed dialed right up to it like we talked about. Yep. Use the same dials, just like we talked about last night. Um, let's, here's your results. Perfect shot. Perfect shot, right through the old noggin. I mean, dead instantly. So it was two, stacked right on top of each other, basically. So, um, our dope is working. Here's the no, no adjustments, no tweaking. It just worked. So, yep, so that's the little Taipan. Uh, 22 and um dude that gun Sick. <laughs> zings we're shooting the 18 grainers at 9 949 uh, excuse me 949 and as you can see it's doing work on prairie dogs so um we're gonna keep hunting now but uh two two impressive little bull pups we've got to use today so we started off um throwing some guns together late at night Putting some, uh, putting some love on them, putting the the, uh, the turret stickers on. And if you remember right, I said we were going to go out, we're going to put these turret stickers on, um, just to the dope that we had here in the shop without, you know, without chewing the chewing the dope uh, up at all. Once we did that, um, got it all placed. Next uh, next morning we went out. Um, I was shooting the um, dead gun Matador R5M in 25 caliber. And Thane, you were shooting the uh, Taipan Veteran Taipan. 22. 18 yeah. grain, 16? Uh, 16, because they were shooting Hades actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he was deadly. Um, so, the conclusion to does it work? Does it work to just go out, put it on, and go? For all in intents and purposes for hunting? Absolutely. It's amazing. Absolutely. I mean, if you wanted to really chew it up for, uh, if you were dialing for uh, punching paper, then you may want to go chew it up a little bit. But as far as a hunting situation, still being right in a kill zone, it worked fantastic. Really fun way to shoot, guys. Get out, um, get yourself some of the, the scope tapes. Um, super fun to use. Um, because there's no guesswork. You just dial up, hold on, hold on the target and shoot. And a big benefit to this, because <clears throat> we've always taped ours, just put a piece of tape around it and then we just dial up and we write it down. We'll put targets every 10 yards and chew it that way. But yeah. being able to use chair gun or um, Straylock Pro yeah. and just put your dope in and using the turret stickers, you can actually still see the numbers on your turrets as you spin it up. So if you need to adjust yeah. something, you can still see that. That's actually a great point because there were a few times where we're like, yeah, that's farther than what we have mm. put on for our stickers. So we just go back to zero and then we'd start doing the traditional way counting, you know, cause we were going. And to add to it, both guns shot absolutely amazing. If you're looking for something more of a, you know, that more, I guess the best way I can describe it is that squared off Russian feel. Indestructible tank look. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to run it over with a tank or something. You can. Really nice stocks. Yeah. yeah, super nice stocks, beautiful. But like one of the key things I were talking about before was how these are just machined from one, one, piece. one piece. So, I mean, there is no separate piece for your scope rail or anything. It's just solid as a rock. So, Super, super guns, and um, I had a lot of fun hunting with it. Taipan, what'd you think? I loved it. It was a great little gun, and 2-2. I mean, some of those shots, 60, 70 yards, yeah. just one shots, just dropping the prairie dogs. Um, great little capable gun. So, and those Hades, those pellets are rad. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, both of them shot really good. Um, both of them have really, really nice features to them. Um, both. Premium air guns for sure. Um, they'll hang with anything. So, anyway, check them out. We'll we'll try and get some more content for you guys with both of them. So, anyway, we'll we'll uh, we'll let you guys get uh, pyramid prep. 
going, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we're. That's what's be we've got a million right guns out here trying yeah. to figure out <laughs> pyramid prep going on. Yeah. So stay tuned. We're, some... we're we're gonna pretend like we are the field target experts. <laughs> anyway, check us out. Like us on YouTube, Facebook, Insta. Check out Saber Tactical and Side Shot on the same channels, and uh, we're gonna keep on pumping them out. Cool. Thanks for watching. Peace.